A huge march today to commemorate what many call an act of genocide. Thousands took to the streets in the little Armenia community of Los Angeles today carrying flags and signs. It's the 100th anniversary of the killings of one and a half million Armenians massacred by the Ottoman Turks during World War I. KCOY 12 local news reporter Natalie Tavidian is live in San Luis Obispo with one woman's family's story of survival. Well, Scott, many Armenians say they're, they're descendants of Armenian genocide survivors. I'm standing at a display right now at Cal Poly where students of the ASA have made this display to educate people about their cause. And one local San Luis Obispo woman I talked to today, she says that she's remembering uh, all the stories that her father told her, all the firsthand stories that he told her, and he says that his survival was a miracle. Florence Turian has reminders of her roots all over her home, a traditional Armenian rock cross, the Armenian flag, and photos of her father, who she calls an Armenian genocide survivor. I had a very hard time talking about it to us when we were growing up. My dad used to tear up every time he talked about his past. He explained his eyewitness accounts in Armenian in this oral history project video. Her father was about seven years old in 1915 and witnessed things he would never forget. All the time that he was being deported, and like I said, he saw a lot of killing and shooting and um, rapes. A Turkish family took him in and okay, raised this him. This is my dad's book. But this family forced him to forget his roots and religion. He eventually escaped with help from his older sister. My parents did not talk about their um, experiences much at home was because several reasons they didn't want us to hate the Turks. April 24 is an annual commemoration. It marks the day hundreds of Armenian intellectuals were rounded up, many of them eventually killed. It's regarded as the first step of the massacre. An estimated 1.5 million Armenians died while being forced from their homes. Armenians and historians view this as genocide. But modern day Turkey doesn't accept it. It's, it's sad that they do. You know, when they deny, when someone denies genocide, they tend to repeat it. This is a necklace that I got in Armenia in 2001. That's why Torian says she took her children to Armenia and will continue to tell her father's story so that the next generation never forgets. Oh, they had to know, of course. Yeah. And I'm and that's the theme for many Armenians on April 24th, to never forget. Now, 43 states in the U.S. recognize the Armenian genocide, but the United States as a whole doesn't recognize it as a genocide, and more than 20 countries have accepted that word, Armenian genocide. Live at Cal Poly, Natalie Tavidian, KCOY 12 Central Coast News. Yeah, many Armenians hope that President Obama would take this occasion to call it a genocide, but perhaps for political reasons, Turkey not recognizing it, he chose not to do so today. Thank you, Natalie.